Hello and welcome to the Minecraft video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you an advanced banking system. Uh, you may remember me from my Morse code uh, translator. And so this time, uh, this is a, a bank mainly designed around use on a server. So the um, benefits I've got from this is I've got a programmable uh, passcodes for each player. Each player has three minecarts and the the programmable ones are nice and easy to find and yeah so I'll give you a quick demonstration now so if we wanted to call up player one's uh, my carts we had to enter in a code which is two three and then four nine this is just like a normal number pad it goes one two three four five seven eight nine and then this light will shine up to uh, say that the one of the combinations is correct and then the three mine carts would come to you and then you could you know take your stuff whatever and then once you finished you just send back your stuff just clicking the button and off they go and then once they've arrived that light turns off so you're ready to enter in the next passcode okay so I'm just going to enter in the admin passcode now which will open this door and then that resets it so we can just come down here and this is where we can program in our passcodes so for the admin it's currently set at 1234 or I always enter in and it's 3142 it's just because 3142 is the uh, is pi to four significant figures but um, that's a different story um, so to program in each player, it's very simple. You just have to uh, put the light on that you want the code to be. Now, the code can only be four long at the moment. Uh, you could extend that to having or shorten it, but uh, four longs a, a good um, number of digits, I think. And that just goes on. And there's a total of nine players currently uh, currently currently set up. I have the tenth as the admin. And so if we just head up ooh, up here, um, over here, this is taking all the inputs from the buttons and arranging them in number order. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, here is just a, a line to detect any imposter tool. I'll talk about that later. Uh, here we have sets of our snore latches and what these do is an RS nor latch basically uh, switches round and then can't be switched again until it goes along the reset line so if power comes to this one it switches round and only be reset if power comes along the reset line this then heads into the uh, decoders now the problem that we have for uh, programming them is to make it nice and simple what I wanted to do is just place a torch underneath and then torch above so you could program in which ones you needed to be on but if you just do that and we do our usual thing of just passing through the message like that you see that one turns on but we don't want that on we want that to be the same as this so what I did is as well as taking it uh, to the torch I also took it to the side as well so that this one here replicates the uh, initial input and this means that the um, decoders zigzag a bit and they are much bigger than a usual uh, decoder but it does have the programmable features now if a correct codes come through this light here can turn on and this light will turn off meaning that this uh, pulsar can switch around so what this here does is it creates basically like a, a button press but then this here is a shortener so I'll just give you a demonstration if uh, if we make it stimulate there's been a pulse coming through and then this releases the hatch 
So you see this one's pulsing round, and you could probably just take it from this, but this just shortens it to make sure it's nice and small to not allow two minecarts to go together. Um, the minecarts, after they come out of the pairs, go over this detector rail here. Now this switch rounds this RS Norlatch here, meaning that it will not, um, that it will change this here, so it's spacing up. So if any carts come along here, then they'll head up into the uh, PES dispenser. Now, there's also another detector rail here to detect if any carts are going up. So then this sends a delayed message back round to reset the RS Norlatch at a delay so that all three minecarts can get up. So once a minecart's been released, it'll come along these tracks here and comes to this sorting area. Now this got a this became a bit more complicated than it needed to be, really. Um, if I just move this across one, this could have been on a separate line, meaning that these could have all been the same, uh, and then it would all three of them would have gone this line. But as I kept it straight, uh, this cart here will carry on travelling on this line, and these two other carts will go off round. But that's fine. You just have I just had to alter the system a bit to. Uh, compensate, basically adding a longer delay onto the onto the PES dispenser. Now, to release them, what happens is when I press the button, these lights down here turn on, which powers these powered rails here. And also, when a car comes over this detector rail here, it uh, sends a delayed message round to here. Now these go to all these RS null latches again under here. Now these have been uh, compacted a little, so it may be a bit more complicated to understand, but it's uh, still the same as a normal RS null latch. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time.